So far we have been learning about quantum mechanics and how electrons behave vastly different than large or macroscopic objects. An interesting thought experiment that most of us have heard of is known as Schrodinger's cat. This, is a, this experiment is actually in regards to quantum theory and to explain something known as quantum superposition. To begin this topic, let's first talk a little bit about Erwin Schrodinger. He was born in Vienna in 1887 and was an Austrian physicist. He won a Nobel Prize in Physics in 1933 for his work in quantum mechanics. He developed further on Niels Bohr theory of the atom and assumed that electrons could behave as both a particle and a wave. In 1926, he formulated a wave equation, whoop, there she goes, that calculated the energy levels of electrons in atoms. He is also known for his theoretical experiment involving a cat in a steel chamber. As a small disclaimer, no animals were actually hurt in the following theoretical experiment. The following experiment tries to explain an idea that when actually measuring small particles, such as an electron, this forces them into two different states at the same time. However, this concept was difficult to fathom for many scientists. In an attempt to make this concept more relatable, Schrodinger used the following experiment to explain it. So I want you to imagine a steel chamber, and in this chamber, there is a radioactive material, a cat, poison, a Geiger counter, and a hammer. If the Geiger counter detects any radiation from the radioactive material, then the hammer will then smash the poison, thus killing the cat. However, this is a closed chamber, so unless somebody opens the chamber, it remains unobserved. So the cat is in a perpetual state of alive and dead at the same time. Until someone opens the chamber, this forces the system into one state or the other. The cat is either dead or alive. It cannot be both. This experiment will help tie us into the last portion of this chapter. In 1926, Louis de Broglie suggested that particles must be transported by a wave and that light can behave as a wave and a particle. He stated that with every particle of matter, with mass and velocity, a real wave must be associated. The de Broglie wavelength equation related wavelength to a moving particle, and the equation is as followed. Wavelength is equal to Planck's constant divided by mass times velocity. It is important to note that mass times velocity is also known as momentum, which is denoted by P. It is difficult to fathom that light can behave as both a wave and a particle. However, we are going to use Schrodinger's theoretical experiment and Heisenberg's uncertainty principle to help describe this. The following principle was able to solve the paradox of light acting as both a wave and a particle because it introduces something known as complementary properties, which states that the more you know about one, the less we know about the other. So far, we have seen that in the de Broglie equations, the velocity of an electron is related to its wave nature, but the position of an electron is related to its particle nature. Due to the fact that we cannot observe the particle and a wave simultaneously, that we cannot measure a particle's position and velocity. Heisenberg developed an equation that states that the uncertainty in the position, which is denoted by delta x, multiplied by its uncertainty in its momentum, is greater than or equal to Planck's constant divided by 4 pi. It is important to note that momentum is equal to mass times its velocity. In layman's terms, this states that the more we know about the velocity of an electron, the less we know about its position and vice versa, which can also be explained by the earlier concept of Schrodinger's cat, because when measuring the wave-like properties of light, you cannot also measure the particle light properties with certainty. Just like when you observe the cat is either alive or dead, it cannot be both at the same time. Well, hopefully today's lesson was entertaining and also helpful at the same time. And I hope you also enjoyed our special guest on today's show. Uh, her name was a girl cat and she is an absolute pleasure. Have a wonderful day.